Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today we're doing flight testing with China Hobby Line batteries in my RAW 700. Now before I get into the content, I need to let you know this video is sponsored by China Hobby Line who sent me these batteries for review. I will have a link in the description if you'd like to pick up some of these batteries for yourself. That link is an affiliate link, so if you use it, the channel will get a little bit of a kickback, but don't worry, that doesn't cost you anything extra. The star of the show today are these China Hobby Line 6-cell 5070C batteries. You can see in the raw, I've got two of them in series. So one up front, one in back, they're wired in series for 12S. We're gonna fly this raw 700, and we'll just check it for flight time, for power, make sure that we see a good flight result in terms of time. And then when the video's over, we'll also measure the battery voltage and give you an idea of where it comes down at rest after the flight. You ready to fly, Fred? Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, quick look at the radio. I've got a count up timer and a countdown timer. That starts at six minutes 30. That one will count up. And we are at 50.3, 50.1 volts. So as we start, that's a freshly charged battery, 4.2 volts for cell. The RAW 700 is a time-tested and proven airframe. Excellent airframe by SAB. Of course, they have the new one out, the Il Goblin now. But the Raw 700 is still spectacular. In case you're wondering, my head speed on idle up 2 is about 1900 RPM. So 1800 on idle up 1, 1900 on idle up 2, and 1950 on idle up 3. We're flying on idle up 2 right now.
<laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's check the timer. All right, here we go on the flight result. We're at 43.9 volts, which turns out to be about 3.65 volts per cell, which is just where I like it. And we got five minutes and 41 seconds of flight time. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, we got a sag alert a little bit early, but when we landed, it bounced right back up. So I lowered my sag alert. We landed, lowered the sag alert, and then went right back up again. So um, we did have a little bit of extra time in the spool up, but we're really close to about five and a half minutes. So I feel pretty good about the flight time on these batteries so far. We're gonna let it rest for a few minutes and then we'll take one final voltage measurement after resting. All right, we've given the batteries a little bit of time to rest, not too long, a couple of minutes. And there we are, we're at 44 volts. It just came up just a little bit. So what I'm seeing, they're brand new batteries. So they're bouncing back from SAG really quickly. So 43.9, five minutes and 40 seconds of flight time. And there is the per cell voltage. We're right at 37 and uh, we're at 365 on landing. So I'd say that's a pretty good spot to be. I don't like going much below 36 because I think the batteries get a little sketchy and all batteries get a little sketchy and untrustworthy below that point. They start acting a little odd. So I'm really happy with that performance. And I'll remind you guys, you just saw a skilled 3D pilot putting it to the test a little bit. If you are a sport pilot, you could probably eke another minute out of this without too much problem. And that's kind of what I'll expect when I fly it. So I'll, I'll be looking for about six and a half, seven minutes when I'm, when I'm flying this in more of a sport mode. That wraps up my first test video on the China Hobbyline 6S 5000s. Be on the lookout on the channel for more information about these batteries because I do intend to fly them and show you how they're performing over time. Thanks to China Hobbyline for sending these batteries out for review. I'll remind you if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, smash that thumbs up button and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.